Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.13. Saintly persons who only accept the remnants of sacrifice become free from all sins. But those who cook grains and other foodstuffs for their own sake are sinners and certainly eat only sin. Sar Ardevarshini Those who take the grain remnants of sacrifices such as Vaishvadeva, a type of sacrifice to the demigods, become free from the sins incurred due to the five unavoidable actions performed by householders, or Pancha Suna. The Smritis inform the householder of the following five objects that are Pancha Suna. First, the cooking fire. Second, the grinding instrument. Third, the mortar and pestle. Fourth, the water pot. And fifth, the broom. The word Suna means the place where animals are slaughtered. These five household objects are called Pancha Suna because they may inflict violence upon living entities. It is because of this only that householders do not attain the heavenly planets. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashika Riti Sacrifice related with the worship of the demigods who control the various aspects of the universe are called Vaishvadeva. Vasu Sato Kratu Daksho Kala Kamo Tritihi Kuruhu Puru Rava Madravas Cha Vishvadevaha Brakir Tita Ha Bharata Muni The householders unknowingly cause violence to living entities by using the pestle, fire, grinding instrument, water pot, and broom. Those who cook food for themselves become implicated in such sins. Even if they perform their prescribed duties properly, they do not attain the heavenly planets. Therefore, the Smritis have prescribed Pancha Suna, Kritam Papam, Pancha Yagyar, Vya Pohati. The sacrifice called Pancha Yagya nullifies the five unavoidable sins incurred by householders.